What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So it's been a while since I've last posted a video and I know some of you guys uh, in the comment sections have been wondering where I've been. Uh, there wasn't anything wrong. I was just like kind of busy with life, um, with work and all that. And then as you could probably expect, um, I hit like a pretty cold streak with, with uh, releases lately. And so I wasn't able to, you know, uh, cop any new shoes. Like for instance, I was really hoping to get the uh, Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royals, but I struck on a, uh, out on every single like, you know, raffle or whatnot. And it was really frustrating because <clears throat> um, uh, I know I've been really lucky, but I've been able to cop a lot of GR Jordan 1s for retail. And this is like probably one of the, the, the very few GR pairs that I would have to buy for resale. And I was kind of waiting for the uh, the price to kind of settle down a little bit. And then I was I finally made the decision and pulled the trigger today. So I'll probably be getting that in the mail uh, uh, in a couple days. So And, and that's uh, for another video. But anyways, I will be uh, posting the review of the Hyper Royals very soon. Now... Um, I know like I've been looking around stores and it seems like some uh, new shoes like the Jordan 11 uh, Legend Blue Lows are like sitting still in stores and I did check them out and just to see if I could do a review on them but honestly <clears throat> I, w I really wasn't feeling them I mean they're really cool and clean uh, really nice summer shoes it's just that I don't think uh, it's worth my time to kind of like you know do a full review on it because honestly they're really nice shoes it's just that you know there's really not that much to talk about so anyways, I thought, you know, I should just like uh, <clears throat> kind of search through my collection and then see if there's anything special that I could talk about. And lo and behold, I, you know, I have the uh, the not for resales uh, in my collection and I really, really, really love this shoe um, and I'll be doing a review on it today. So as I've mentioned, these are the Air Jordan 1 not for resales and Man, these shoes are crazy. Uh, these are actually one of the very first Jordan 1s that I copped for resale. Uh, I know that these released in uh, 2018, but I believe I copped my pair uh, in 2019. I think it was the summer of 19. And I did have a little difficult time trying to uh, cop this pair because you know, I wasn't really used to the concept of, you know, buying shoes for resale. And this was, uh, this had a pretty hefty resale price. I mean, I think I copped it for like something around maybe like $600, $650 uh, back then. But now it seems like these are hitting for like over $1,000. So uh, in retrospect, I mean, it, it was a nice price at the end of the day, but, you know, I still wasn't uh, used to the concept. And especially there's so few pairs of these like available and I really wasn't able to, you know, like kind of um, uh, tell if if uh, if I'm able to get a uh, actual pair. Because even back then, like, you know, the resale platforms weren't that like um, active as uh they are now in my home country like now we have like five or six resale platforms in, in in my country it's just that you know it wasn't as active like just like two years ago and you know i had a hard time trying to authenticate this myself and so i had to search through a lot of pictures and videos as much as possible and luckily i've been able to cop a uh uh, real pair and the guy who I dealt with was you know, he was pretty legitimate and he was really straight up about everything So anyways, yeah, let's just dive right into the shoe once again. These are really really special and Man to so the quality on this is crazy now. Let's just first talk about the uh, the mid cell of uh, I mean the 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 mid panel of the shoe so the mid panel is done in this very kind of like off whitish uh, tumbled leather and the leather quality on this pair is just crazy I know like you know you can just make this tumble pattern on a lot of Jordan ones but it's just that the the leather on this is really smooth and very very plush I have never held another pair of Jordan ones that have uh, this type of leather quality on them like aside from the shattered backboards probably but I've never held that pair in hand so I wouldn't know it's just that you know this is probably like the best quality Jordan 1 that I have in in my collection and then that off-white uh, uh, mid panel is accented by this dark black uh, leather swoosh which is also uh, constructed in this tumbled leather 
and you can see the QC is really, really, really nice on this. I think this had like a, a slightly higher uh, uh, retail price just because of like, I guess like the materials and the QC on this pair. And I'm not mad at that. It's just, you know, it's really nice to know that, you know, Jordan brand kind of takes it up a notch uh, if you pay those extra bucks. And then moving towards the front of the shoe, you see this kind of like a <clears throat> uh, pebble leather, black leather here. And then on the, uh, the toe cap area, you see more of that black tumble leather here. You know, I've been wearing this pair quite often, so you can see it's it's got so all these like different creases in the leather. And once again, the leather is really, really smooth and plush to the touch. And then uh, the toe box is also constructed in this uh, off-whitish, like very cream type of like uh, tumble leather. And as you can see, it's got a lot of give to the touch and you got those typical perforated holes in them and then you can see the the please letter uh printed onto the shoe and i'm going to get into that later uh once i talk about the other shoe here and then you know towards the top of the shoe you got those like black uh cotton laces uh, uh laced onto the shoe because i've been wearing the shoe and then the eye stay is once again that black pebble leather and even this pebble leather on the eye stay area is very smooth as well and then on the top of the tongue you got that well you got that black nylon tongue here and then here on the tongue tab instead of the nike air branding you've got the letters me printed in black against a white tongue tab um and then here on the side of the ankle area, you've got that varsity red uh, tumble leather here. And what's really crazy about this ankle part is that, man, this almost feels like a cushion. This is so smooth and very, very plush. I mean, it is unbelievable how, you know, Jordan Brand kind of came up with this type of leather on their shoe. Like, I mean, I mean this is just crazy. I've never ever had this type of leather on my recent Jordan 1 pairs and it's just crazy how you know the quality of this leather is really really nice and then the Air Jordan Wings logo is also done in this kind of cream type of print and man that cream color looks so nice against that black background here along the collar area and it's just it's so cool it's got that really kind of like premium feel to it and then on the uh, the uh, the back side of the shoe you see more of that black uh, pebble leather <clears throat> with the uh, this kind of, uh, I guess, like silver threads, like the white or silver threads uh, spelling out no on the heel counter. And on the medial side, you see more of that uh, cream type of mid panel here. And then uh, the black swoosh again, Nike swoosh again. And then the midsole is also done in this kind of off whitish or like cream type of midsole that we see typically on uh, uh, Jordan 1 models. And then what is not typical is that you see the uh, not for resale lettering in black uh, printed onto the midsole. And then on the outsole is once again that very uh, like varsity red uh, rubber outsole that we see on Jordan, Jordan 1s. And then you got that circular uh, traction pad in the front area as well as that Nike branding uh, in the mid part of the outsole. Now I did purposely uh, kind of skip all the, uh, the, the the important details about the shoe because you gotta uh, put this shoe side by side to fully appreciate what Nike or Jordan brand is trying to do. Now obviously on the tongue tabs it spells out wear me and then the uh, the toe box area the letters spell out please crease as you can see and then the, the midsoles have that not for resale um, print on them. And then on the back of the shoe, you got the, the embroidery, the silver or white embroidery spelling out no photos. So basically this was Jordan Brand's attempt to kind of, uh, I guess like kind of like draw people's attention and then kind of, you know, uh, tell them not to, or like kind of stay away from that resale culture. Uh, uh, kind of playing on the idea of like this being like a, a kind of a quasi uh, sample pair where you got the not for resale uh, lettering on here and then you're the Jordan brand uh, begging you to wear these shoes so that you would actually crease the toe box area which I did 
uh, you know, so it's it's kind of like, you know, Jordan Brand's way of saying that your shoes are meant to be worn. You know, I, I don't mind people kind of like keeping their pairs like uh, on ice uh, for their collection. It's just that, you know, all the fun is in the actually wearing the shoes. So, you know, I do have some shoes like on ice uh, DS. It's just that, you know, it, it would it's the, the best way to appreciate your shoes and kind of enjoy them is to wear them. Um, and then another detail that I wanted to mention is that it's got more uh, lettering <clears throat> on the side of the uh, the sock liner. Here you got that, sorry this pair is not numbered, uh, playing on the idea of that, you know, back in the day a lot of Jordan 1s used to be numbered, but you know, this it's this pair is specifically not numbered, so it's, kind of, it's a kind of like a, a, a play on that idea, and I believe... Does this side have a, another? Let me just check. Okay, yeah, this has general release. Obviously, this was not a general release. I think this was like a, an actually an NRG, NRG model. So that really means that, you know, uh, Jordan Brand kind of uh, kicked it up a notch in terms of quality. And then they did limit the, uh, the, uh, the number of pairs uh, circulating around the world purposefully. So ironically speaking, these are going for a really, really high resale price. And, you know, I, I, I'm not really sure if Jordan Brand kind of intended that. But uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of ironic to see that. And then once again, the no photos... Uh, Kind of plays on the idea where people kind of just you know keep their shoes on ice and then just kind of take uh pictures of them for the gram i'm sitting here uh doing a youtube video on this thing but you know i wear my pairs so it's it's all good i guess and then one another last detail that i want to mention is that uh the uh the insole of this of this shoe here we go uh, yeah, so the insole of the shoe spells out. It's got that uh, red letter prints on the uh, the insoles reading no L's, uh, playing on the idea of, you know, uh, people kind of like, you know, the hope of people not getting L's on releases, which I did for like the past, like, I don't know, like 100 releases, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a little too, a, a bit salty about the Hyper Royal release still. It's just that, you know, I rarely take the insoles out on my uh, Jordan ones. I don't really mind like you know that uh, the the Nike Air or the, like the Nike swoosh kind of like uh, disappearing after like one wear. I don't mind that. I even wear my like Cactus Jack pairs with the original insole in them. It's just that I replace this uh, the insoles for this specific model because you know I think. The lettering on the insoles for this model is like part of the full packaging and I thought it'd be meaningful to kind of keep this detail intact as much as possible. I mean, you can say whatever you want to say. It's just that I thought you know, this is a cool detail that Jordan Brand purposely did. So, you know, I don't I think it would be it's a good idea to just to like kind of like, you know, keep it uh, intact as much as possible. It's just that's just my humble opinion. That is, and that's just the way that I decided to uh, uh, wear my pair. So inside, I just have like a, a, a kind of like a replacement uh, insole that has basically no branding on it. And once again, I really don't mind like Jordan 1 uh, insoles kind of like, you know, having all their like branding scratched off like after like wearing it for like a half an hour or so. I guess that's just the way it is. It's that it's kind of like shitty materials that Jordan Brand uses on their insoles. It's just that I kind of want to keep the packaging and the details alive on this specific pair because at the end of the day, I did pair uh, pay uh, resell for this, but whatever. Uh, anyways, you know, uh, I guess that's it for today. And I'm sorry I've been I haven't been posting lately. It's just that I'm not getting lazy or anything like that. I just would I would really like to post daily as much as possible. It's just that Jordan Brand or Nike hasn't been hasn't been so kind to me lately. And I haven't been able to, you know, cop anything interesting. But uh, once again, I have the Hyper Royals coming in in the mail very soon. I, I guess I would get them like maybe in the next two or three days. And then we have a lot of a lot of releases coming up. We've got the uh, Dunk Low Michigans, the Dunk Low Spartan Greens. We got the uh, University Blues uh, Jordan 4s. 
Uh, we also have the Sakai's, and we could po possibly have the uh, the Travis Scott Sixes British Khakis. I mean, I'm not really sure how many pairs I'll be able to cop. Probably zero, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But let's just hope and have our fingers crossed and hope that I could get at least something uh, <laughs> to review. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and, you know, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I'll make sure to post more videos as much as possible. If I can't uh, cop anything new, I'll stop whining and then I'll just pull something out of, the, my, of my collection and then show you guys those shoes uh, uh, on, my, uh, on my channel. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps my channel grow. I know I've been slow with the, uh, the uploads lately, but come on, let's uh, kick it up and then try to get to that 500 mark as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.